This is 8 News Now at 6. Well, Sunday marks one year since the New York Times broke open a provocative secret when it reported about the existence of a long-term Pentagon study of UFOs, unidentified flying objects. In the 12 months since then, the I-Team has unveiled new details about the study, which was based right here in Las Vegas. So what comes next? And will 2019 bring the public closer to understanding what the government already knows? The I-Team's George Knapp sat down for an exclusive interview with an intelligence officer you know, who chased flying saucers for the Pentagon. What does that mean? What can mean a whole bunch of things? As a career intelligence officer, Lou Elizondo learned to parse his words carefully. He spent nearly a decade managing a secret Pentagon study of encounters between U.S. military units and UAPs, unknown aerial phenomena a.k.a. UFOs, including multiple incidents in 2015 off the East Coast with an object dubbed the Gimbal. It's rotating. Fourteen months after leaving the Pentagon, during a visit to Las Vegas, Elizondo dropped strong hints that behind the scenes, a new, broader effort to accumulate classified UFO reports, testimony, and evidence is underway, both inside the government and outside. I think we have a, a much better understanding of the breadth and scope that the Department of Defense has played uh, in recent times, not, not historical back talk 40s and 50s, I'm talking very recent, uh, regarding the UFO phenomena. I think people would be surprised to know um, just how frequent and, and the, the volume in which these things uh, are apparently recorded and observed by active duty military people on missions around the world, by the way. Elizondo left the military and went to work for rock star Tom DeLonge, whose organization, To The Stars Academy, was instrumental in convincing the New York Times to publish a blockbuster front page story about the Pentagon study. The Times story set off a tsunami of other mainstream news coverage of UFOs. Media and public interest, combined with statements from the UFO study's original sponsor, former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada, have reportedly resulted in closed-door briefings and testimony for senior staff and members of Congress during 2018. Elizondo hints that official interest in UFOs has been aroused. And for some people, this, this UAP issue, they're really learning about it for the first time, despite what they may have seen on popular TV or something like that, or you know maybe on a movie. This is really the first time they're being told, hey, listen, Jack or Jane, this is a serious topic. This is something that your Department of Defense has been tracking. At the same time, TTSA has launched its own public outreach efforts, including meetings with foreign military officials, and multiple efforts are underway to conduct scientific analysis of baffling samples of metamaterials acquired from so-called crash sites. Elizondo says it's too early to reveal what that analysis has uncovered, but says the initial work is promising. Among the potential developments in 2019, could the Pentagon launch a new publicly acknowledged UFO study effort? Could you envision a time when there is a larger, not only a private e effort like TTSA on the outside, but a larger effort on the inside? Wouldn't that be a great accomplishment, George? George Knapp, 8 News Now. And Lou Elizondo hints that some pretty big UFO news will be breaking in 2019. You can watch the full interview on our website, lasvegasnow.com, and we do have links to some of our earlier iTunes stories as well.